hello everyone welcome to you my youtube channel vb automation tutorial point if you are new on this channel so please like share and subscribe my youtube channel to get the updated videos so guys today we will learn that how to get the data from multiple workbook and save that data into a one workbook in the appending model right means how to make the compilers with the help of vba coding right so guys uh, we have already covered that file system object in our previous videos so i strongly recommend to you to watch my previous videos to learn about file system object all right so guys be before writing the program you know just i'll show you something to get the you know just uh, to get the properties of the file system object you need to add the library in the reference that is microsoft scripting runtime in the reference tab right so guys i'm writing a code to make the compiler you know just so this is a you know just very useful macros in the you know just in our daily routine or in our many organization which we have used in daily basis to you know just compile the data from multiple workbooks and save that data into a one workbook right so guys i am declaring a one variable type of object file system object right so i am setting this object as a file system object right so i am declaring another object that is folder path as object you know just to store or you know just to store the path of the folder frame from where you want to get the data so i'm setting this variable or object equal to fs so dot get folders we have one method that is get folder to get the part of the folder all right so you need to pass the part of the folder from where you want to get the data suppose i want to get the data from this workbook all right not from this folder sorry okay so guys now i need a one more object to you know just read the files from the folder so that is file reader has object all right so guys i want to you know just read the files from the folder suppose that i have multiple files in a folder so for this i have to apply a for each loop to read the each file from the folders so for this for each file reader in in folder part dot files right so now i want to access the one file so i'm declaring a one variable type of workbook that is new workbook wkb as workbook to you know just store the workbook from the you know from this folder so i'm setting this new workbook equal to file workbook dot open all right so with the help of workbook dot open we will open the file file reader right first file comes in the this variable right in this object so with the help of workbook dot open i'll open the first workbook right 
now I have opened the workbook. Now I need to set the seat. Alright. So you know just from where you want to get that data. Right. Now yes, I'm setting these seats. So WKB dot seat eight one right guys so i want to get the data from this workbook and also you know from this workbook and from work seed one so first i access the workbook then i access the seed name from where i want to get the data right so so guys i want to you know just get all the data into you know just into this c2 in the current workbook so for this i have to declare a one more variable that is worksheet sst2 edge worksheet right so i also set this worksheet in this workbook dot seats c2 right so here i need a one more variable to i need a one more variable to count the rows right from the C2 right so last row SST two dot range a ten thousand right so this is the code actually so this is the code to find the last row last fill row from the worksheet right so with the help of this i found the last row last fill row from the c2 right guys so now i also you know just i also have one more variable that is last row to as long to you know just to also know the last fill row from this workbook right from the you know just from this seat from where i want to to know you know just how many data are in this seats right so for this i also last row to equal to sst dot range a ten thousand you can choose anything right ten thousand one lag and all dot n excel up dot rows right so with the help of this variable you know just I have found that how many is how many data in this C right so now i need to copy all data from this save right so sst right dot range from where from a2 to suppose b and last row 2 right and copy and paste into current workbook this c so c2 sst2 dot range from 
where sst dot last row from this one right so now data has you know just copy and paste it into the current work see current work you know in c2 so now i need to close the open workbook right which i have open here so for this new workbook dot close pause without any changes i am closing the workbook right so now the you know just uh, workbook has closed without any changes so now i need to next loop all right so after you know just executing the loop i just need a one message box to show that our task has completed done type of vb information right so now i have written all the codes right so guys now i'm going to you know just execute the code after the execution the code you can see all the data from the you know just folder right so i'm just executing the code yes done now you can see that all data from that folders or files you know just has pasted in the in this sheet with the you know, you know just in appending mode right so now i'm going to show you you know just the data and just go to this sheet so this is our folders and first time opening the file so now the file has opened now right so here i have the five datas one to five right in the seat one in in this workbook right now i have another workbook all right here i have a data which is start from 6 to 11 right so now you can see that all data consolidated you know just uh, consolidated in this seat in a appending mode right guys so that's it for today guys if you have any concern any queries you know just uh, in the file system object or in any topics so please write your comment in the con comment box i'll get back to you on that or you know just i'll make the video on that so guys thank you thanks for the watching